For centuries, mankind has gazed up at the night sky, overwhelmed by the vastness of the cosmos, filled with wonder and curiosity about the mysteries that lie beyond our world. The night sky, with its countless stars and celestial objects, has always sparked questions about the universe's origins, its workings, and our place within it. In the 20th century, scientists made a bold leap in understanding when they proposed what is now known as the Big Bang Theory, which sought to explain the origin, expansion, and development of the universe. This groundbreaking theory provided a framework for understanding how the universe began from a singular point, expanding rapidly to form the cosmos we see today. However, as scientists continued to explore the universe, it became clear that the Big Bang Theory, while revolutionary, could not answer all of the most fundamental questions about the universe's creation and its subsequent evolution. Over time, researchers have uncovered new data that challenges some of the assumptions of the theory, adding even more complexity to the mystery of the universe's beginning. In 2023, the James Webb Space Telescope, a marvel of modern engineering launched by NASA, made a remarkable discovery that further deepened this mystery. The telescope detected celestial objects that appear to be older than the universe itself, a perplexing finding that has left the scientific community both astonished and baffled. The idea that a star or other celestial body could exist for a period of time longer than the universe itself poses a profound challenge to our current understanding of cosmology. It raises the question, does this discovery call into question everything we thought we knew about the universe? Could it signal the need for a new model or theory to make sense of this enigma? These are the kinds of questions that we will explore in this video. If you are as fascinated by these cosmic mysteries as we are, we encourage you to subscribe to our channel, like the video, and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any updates. Roughly 200 light years away from Earth, in the region of space near the constellation Libra, lies a star that has captured the attention of astronomers for decades. This star, named HD 14283, stands out not just because of its age, but also due to its surprising motion. Unlike many stars in our galaxy, which follow relatively predictable paths, HD 14283 travels at an extraordinary velocity of around 44.8 kilometers per second. This high speed offers important clues about the star's history and the violent cosmic events it may have witnessed. About a billion years ago, the Milky Way galaxy still in its early stages of formation, collided and merged with a smaller dwarf galaxy. This event likely disturbed HD 14283, sending it on its current rapid journey through space. But while its speed is impressive, it is the star's age that truly astonishes scientists. HD 14283 is not just an old star. It is one of the oldest stars ever observed by humanity. Its age has earned it the nickname Methuselah, after the biblical figure said to have lived for 969 years, symbolizing great longevity. Initially, astronomers estimated Methuselah's age to be a staggering 16 billion years, a number that immediately raised eyebrows as it would make the star older than the universe itself, which is estimated to be around 13.8 billion years old. After further analysis and refinement of the data, the star's age was adjusted to approximately 14.46 billion years, with a margin of error of 800 million years. Even with this correction, the star still appears to be older than the universe, presenting a paradox that has intrigued scientists. How can a star be older than the universe? This contradiction has sparked debates about the methods we use to date stars and the universe, pushing scientists to reconsider their understanding of cosmic time. Could it be that our measurements are inaccurate or is there something fundamental about the universe that we have yet to comprehend? Understanding the age of celestial objects like stars is far from straightforward. Stars, including our own sun, can remain in a stable state for billions of years, making it extremely difficult to determine exactly how old they are. Unlike living organisms that undergo visible changes as they age, stars maintain their brightness and size for vast periods, making age estimation a complex task. To tackle this challenge, astronomers rely on subtle changes in the light emitted by stars over time. A star's brightness and color can shift, offering clues about its age. By comparing these observations with sophisticated mathematical models of stellar evolution, scientists can make educated estimates about a star's age. One key method used to estimate a star's age is through its rotation. 
As stars age, they gradually slow down, much like how a spinning will lose its speed over time due to friction. By measuring the rotational speed of stars at various stages of their life cycles, astronomers have developed a method called gyrochronology, which allows them to estimate a star's age based on how fast it is spinning. This method has been applied to Methuselah, providing a more accurate estimate of its age. Methuselah's ancient status is beyond dispute. It is the oldest star that astronomers have been able to study with reasonable precision. Its existence raises profound questions about the age of the universe itself. Rather than fixating on the seemingly impossible idea that a star could be older than the universe, some scientists are beginning to wonder if the universe itself might be older than previously thought. Could it be that the universe's age, currently estimated at 13.8 billion years, is not entirely accurate? This line of questioning opens up new avenues of exploration and suggests that our understanding of cosmic time may need revision. When considering the vastness of time, 13.8 billion years is a number that is almost impossible to comprehend fully. To put it into perspective, some scientists have created a cosmic calendar, a visual metaphor that compresses the entire history of the universe into a single calendar year. In this model, the Big Bang, the moment when the universe began, would occur at the very beginning of the year, like the most spectacular New Year's fireworks display. Over the next several months, galaxies, stars, and planets would form, with the Earth only joining this cosmic party near the end of December. Human history, which spans only a few thousand years, would occupy just the final seconds of December 31st. This thought experiment helps illustrate just how ancient the universe is and how short a time humans have been around in comparison. Scientists estimate the age of the universe primarily by studying the light emitted by stars that formed shortly after the Big Bang. As the universe expands, this light shifts toward the red end of the spectrum, a phenomenon known as redshift. By measuring this redshift and factoring in the rate of the universe's expansion, astronomers have arrived at the estimate of 13.8 billion years for the universe's age. However, Recent discoveries by researchers at the University of Ottawa suggest that the universe could be much older than previously thought, possibly as old as 26.7 billion years. Physicist Rendra Gupta from the University of Ottawa has proposed a theory that merges elements of an older idea known as the tired light theory with new insights. This theory suggests that protons, the building blocks of atoms, lose energy as they travel vast distances through space and time. This gradual loss of energy could explain some of the observations that seem to contradict the traditional understanding of redshift, which is usually attributed solely to the universe's expansion. Gupta's theory offers a new way of interpreting the data, potentially extending the universe's age and providing answers to long-standing questions in cosmology. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has played a pivotal role in collecting the data that supports this new estimate of 26.7 billion years for the universe's age. By combining the tired light theory with another concept known as the evolving interaction constant, originally proposed by physicist Paul Dirac, Gupta suggests that the fundamental forces governing the universe, such as gravity and electromagnetism, may have changed over time. This would imply that the universe is far more complex and dynamic than we had previously imagined. It is worth noting that this is not the first time scientists have had to revise their understanding of the universe's age. In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble, the astronomer after whom the famous Hubble Space Telescope is named, estimated that the universe was only two billion years old. Over the following decades, as new data came in and our understanding of cosmology improved, scientists gradually doubled their estimate of the universe's age. The possibility that the universe could be even older than we currently believe represents a major milestone in our ongoing quest to understand the cosmos. Whether we consider human history as just a few seconds in the grand scheme of the universe's timeline or as a more significant fraction, one thing remains clear. The universe is incredibly old, and its mysteries continue to amaze and challenge us. As we continue to learn more about the universe, it becomes apparent that our previous notions about its age and structure may need to be re-examined. One such discovery involves observations made within our own galaxy, the Milky Way. Recent measurements have shown that stars located in the outer regions of the Milky Way are moving at a much slower rate compared to stars in similar regions of other galaxies. This finding presents a puzzle with two possible explanations. One possibility is that the Milky Way contains less dark matter than previously believed. 
Dark matter is a mysterious and invisible substance that exerts gravitational influence on the stars and galaxies, holding them together. Without enough dark matter, galaxies would not have the gravitational strength to maintain their current structure, leading to the observed differences in star movement. The other possibility is that our understanding of dark matter itself might be incomplete or flawed. For decades, scientists have tried to determine how much dark matter exists in the universe, but it has proven to be an elusive and difficult task. This recent discovery, based on data collected by the European Space Agency's Gaia satellite, which has mapped the positions and movements of nearly two billion stars, is forcing astronomers to rethink their assumptions about the Milky Way and its place in the universe. The Gaia satellite has provided an unprecedented level of detail about our galaxy, allowing scientists to calculate the total mass of the Milky Way, including its gas, dust, stars, and dark matter. The results suggest that the Milky Way's mass is approximately 200,000 billion times the mass of our Sun, an enormous figure but one that is significantly smaller than previous estimates. In fact, the new estimate is about five times lower than what was previously thought, raising important questions about the nature of dark matter and its role in the universe. It is important to note that measuring the mass of a galaxy is an incredibly complex and difficult task. There are many variables and uncertainties involved, from the data collected by instruments like the Gaia satellite to the models used to interpret that data. As scientists continue to analyze the results, there is a possibility that some of the discrepancies could be due to errors in the data or the interpretation of that data. However, these findings also open up exciting new possibilities for understanding the structure and behavior of galaxies, not just in the Milky Way but across the entire universe. The next few years will likely see further developments in this area as astronomers work to reconcile these new observations with existing models of galactic formation and evolution. As always, we will stay on top of these developments and bring you the latest updates as they happen as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. New questions and challenges constantly emerge, reshaping our understanding of the cosmos. One of the intriguing areas of research is the study of dark matter and its influence on galaxy formation and behavior. Dark matter, an elusive substance that does not emit, absorb, or reflect light, is believed to make up a significant portion of the universe's total mass. Despite its invisibility, its gravitational effects are crucial for understanding how galaxies form and evolve. Recent observations have revealed discrepancies in the way dark matter is distributed across different galaxies. For example, some galaxies appear to have less dark matter than expected based on their observed dynamics. This anomaly could suggest that our current models of dark matter might need revision. The problem is compounded by the fact that dark matter interacts with regular matter only through gravity, making it exceptionally challenging to study directly. Researchers are also investigating alternative theories to explain these discrepancies. One such theory is the existence of primordial black holes, which could account for some of the missing mass attributed to dark matter. These black holes would have formed shortly after the Big Bang and could contribute to the gravitational effects observed in galaxies. Another avenue of exploration involves modifications to the laws of gravity itself. Theories such as modified Newtonian dynamics MOND, propose that gravity behaves differently at very low accelerations, which could explain some of the anomalies observed in galactic dynamics. The quest to understand the nature of dark matter is not only driven by the desire to explain galactic phenomena, but also by its implications for cosmology as a whole. Dark matter plays a crucial role in the formation of large-scale structures in the universe, including galaxy clusters and superclusters. By studying how dark matter interacts with other cosmic components, scientists aim to gain insights into the overall architecture of the universe and its evolution over time. In addition to dark matter, the study of dark energy has also become a major focus of cosmological research. Dark energy is thought to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. Observations of distant supernovae and the cosmic microwave background radiation have provided evidence for dark energy's existence, but its exact nature remains one of the biggest mysteries in modern physics. The interaction between dark energy and dark matter could offer clues to understanding the fundamental forces governing the cosmos.